Fishing. Gonna try and get on the bottom with this full moon. As long as there's some current, should get a few bites. Yellowtails, buttons, mangroves. Those are the target species. We'll see what actually comes up on the hook. Not always them. <laughs> a lot of rockfish. A lot of rockfish. Squirrelfish. Squirrelfish. Hopefully not today. <laughs> But we're out there. We're charging it. 6.30 a.m. Nice south wind. Go with hopefully a north tide. Be pristine conditions. Got a full moon current. Trying to get out here. Looking like a white water rapids. That's what we're looking for. The critters on the bottom. There's a party this morning. TGIF. Let's see if we can get on them. Yep. Two miles an hour right now to the north hoping to get right near that spot so we are tight on the anchor 63 foot of water we ended up 35 feet from the spot you guys think I'm gonna give you those numbers you're crazy <laughs> bit of choice this morning Fresh goggle eyes. Let's see if it works. What do you think, Steven? Oh, it's gonna work. How's this current? It's absolutely ripping. So, this is what two miles an hour of current looks like. Got our little chum cage out there. You can see it is ripping behind the boat. It's better than no current though. Just gotta go heavier weight. Going big time. How many ounces? I'm going 14. Double Let's eggs. See if that works. Got him? Oh yeah, you do. Here, let me switch sides. Can we come over here? That way you can video me this side. You got the video? Yep, I got it. It's, it's recording. <laughs> Can get that chum bag out of the water? Nope, we're good. Good. How's he feel? Feels mutton-esque. Mutton-esque. <laughs> see if we got any color. Oh, we got a color. We got That's a monster, monster mangrove. mangrove. Oh, huge. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, 20? Over 20. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> Hell yeah. Woo! <laughs> Beautiful. Holy crap. That's a nice healthy mangrove right there. We don't get them this big that often here. Probably a two pounder, maybe three. Give him a nice. measure, baby. Let's see how big he is. It's gonna be right at 20. You're gonna get a, like an inch or two up here. Yeah, here you go. Yep. He's right at 20. 20. Hell yeah. It's a nice fish. Two pound fish. That'll be good. Yes, it will. Come on, baby. Watch your hook on your foot. <laughs> nice fish. There we go. At least we didn't get skunked. All right, so there's two different ways that we're fishing today. <clears throat> Very similar rigs, but one's with egg weights, one's with a bell weight because the current's very strong today. So we don't like to do it, but we got two egg weights stacked right here to make 14 ounces. That's on Steve's rig. Got a nice gog head. Half a gog. On a little circle hook. Just gonna send him out. And then toss it a little bit away from the boat and down she goes we probably don't have much longer to fish because we got a diver about 70 yards from us you can see that little flag usually you don't want a diver right down where you're fishing etiquette people come on he doesn't know but his driver could have got him could have pulled the flag Now he's uh, 30 yards. <laughs> he's gonna pick up our baits and put it in the fish's mouth. That's, that's, we, that's, we a, that's the hope. Every fish is gone. A little chum slick behind the boat. What causes a chum slick? The chum oil that floats along in the water. So it's bringing all the fish in for miles. Until the divers here. Oh, nice. His bubbles are even closer to the boat. Look at his bubbles right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two of them. Nice. 20 up. feet from the boat. Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. Sir. Uh, shark, shark. What can you do? And with that one, we're done for the day. <laughs> so, for the best meat quality, it's always good to bleed the fish. So, trying to get the knife right up under the last gill there hit this little membrane. And see if anything comes out. I feel like there should be more. Hit the other side too. Yep. Getting him. Yeah. Helps with the meat quality a ton. Don't drop your fish in the blood. Pink like a mutton on that belly. Yeah, it is. Nice fish right there. So, turns out the current was a little bit too much to yellowtail and mangrove fish, really. So, we were primarily focusing on muttons, and this guy chewed on the bottom. I mean, sometimes you'll get lucky with mangroves, they'll bite down there with muttons, but we were fishing pretty big baits. So, a little surprise, but it's a big mangrove, so we're stoked. <laughs> So 
So we're gonna come in right here behind this pec fin, make a first cut like that. And then we're gonna come along here. This Dexter knife has a nice little serrated edge. So with big uh, scaled fish like mangroves and muttons, I like to just start a little outline right here along the backbone. Come down, work my way down. Make sure I'm not getting any scales in that meat. And then flip the knife around and then come back and just ride that backbone all the way down. Make a nice little cut down here. Once you hit the backbone, or the spine, right there, you need to angle your knife. Rather than angling it like this, you gotta angle it down a little bit and follow those bones. So, up here, if sometimes you gotta give it a little cut right there to make that piece come off from your other cut. Stick it through the bottom. I don't like to get into the belly. A lot of people cut into the belly meat. I like to ride right along it. And then you got your rib cage right here. So come up a little bit. That's all ribs. You can hear it there. So now this is the main chunk of our filet. Gonna come right along here. Cut down, watch your fingers. There we go. Nice mangrove filet. Just bones right here. And boom. Two nice slabs. And you can see through the bones there. That's how to clean a mangrove. Now, be courteous to the people around you. Poke the eyes. That way the fish sinks to the bottom. Sometimes with these bigger bottom fish too, you gotta give them a little gut poke and really if you wanna do the trifecta, break the spine. And down it'll sink. Coming back to these now, we still got the skin on the back. We wanna get the skin off the filet. Do is get it started right there. Get my finger, lay this knife flat and pull the skin. You don't even really need to move the knife much if you have a sharp knife. You just pull the skin, the skin will come off. Didn't waste any meat. You wanna come in, there's your bloodline. You bring the knife in right here, angle it slightly away because the bloodline is like a triangle piece. And you can see right there, no bloodline at all. So you can see right here, the bloodline's kind of fatter and a triangle piece. So. Angle slightly away from it, right up here is bones. So we don't really care about that little piece. Good to go. Now if you got kids fishing off the dock, this is great bait, great bait. Got our mangrove fillets here, no bloodline. Looks great. Some people like the bloodline. We just really don't like it too much. I mean, especially if you're gonna freeze any fish, which sometimes we do, it's a, uh, It'll make it a little bit fishier over time, so we just try and get rid of all that little red. But a little bit won't hurt like that, especially this fish. We're gonna cook tonight. See you then. Clean your cutting boards and don't dive next to people that are fishing. No dirty cutting boards around here. Taco Tuesday. 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 What are we cooking up here, chef? We got some mangrove snapper tacos. We're gonna go blackened and we're gonna make a cilantro lime crema sauce with a pineapple avocado slaw and it's gonna be un freaking real. Cheers. To all of our Aussies back home supporting the channel. Throw it out of Foster's. All right since our boy on the last video said we weren't allowed to put fruit in our beer we're going with the Foster's. He's probably gonna say that this is the trashiest Australian beer that there is. Oof. But it's pretty good. It's good. It's different. It's not like our American beer here. That's a freaking oil can. What do you expect? <sighs> Greasing up, lubing up all the innards. Chumps like going down the pipes. Mm -hmm. Top, baby. All right, best way to make taco shells. Take you a raw corn tortilla, put it into a pan with a little bit of olive oil, let it dance for about 15 seconds, so maybe dance. 20 on each side. There's the dance, baby. <laughs> Give me the shimmy. It'll start to bubble up. We're just trying to crisp them a little bit. It is a game changer. It's mama's recipe, and there ain't nothing better for tacos. That's the finished product right there. We're moving along here. We've got our nice, crispy, fried up taco shells. We have 
a beautiful avocado, pineapple, and tomato. A little slaw. Slaw? Sauce? Chunks? What do, you, what, what do we refer to this as? Uh, I'd say a Topping? Slaw. slaw. Yeah, why not? Perfect. And a beautiful cilantro lime crema to drizzle on top of our tacos. Heating up the pan. Medium high heat. Gonna go with some of this blackened mangrove snapper. Credit to Keys Fisheries for that seasoning. Best in the game. Marathon Florida. You heard it here first. Get down there and get you some. Got the butter sizzling. Next up, mangroves are taking a swim. Woo! Look at that. Those are the big pieces. The middle. Piece. There we go. That is a healthy fillet of mangroves. He's a big boy. I got a helper. Get out of here. Halfway done. Just gave him a little flip. See it's starting to separate right there. He's looking good. The little ones are about done. So pull those off here in a minute. Now what is a taco dinner without a delicious craft cocktail? What's For that? Taco Tuesday, our liquor of choice is Tequila Blanco. Somebody else is thirsty too. <laughs> oh Lee, I'd say so. Going with the Cabo Wabo and the pineapple tangerine mixture to match up with the pineapple <laughs> slaw. Wow. <laughs> so Two parts, maybe four parts, Cabo Wabo. I already poured a lot in there, don't worry. Got a bunch of tequila in there. <laughs> Going with our tangerine pineapple. Adding that into the mixture. Do a healthy amount there. Squirt some lime juice. Fruit is permitted in these drinks. Yes, it is. But not in there. Oh! oh! <laughs> Time for a review. Oh, it just adds extra level to every single beer. It's a fresh lime. I'll tell you what. None other than a Foster's. Agave. She's done. In the old Flanagan's cup. Flanagan's, baby. Anybody from South Florida knows that this is the spot. We'll see you there on uh, Wednesday nights. Wing it Wednesday, baby. Whoa. Looks like orange juice tequila, but it wouldn't be complete. Wow, wow. pineapple rim. Slice of pineapple. This guy. The presentation on fleet. You want the Greenhead Mallard <laughs> or the Florida Local? Wow, this looks like it's stamped from the 1800s. It is. I'm taking the Greenhead Mallard. F you. <laughs> it's different. Not the greatest, hmm. not the worst. It's not a Marg, but if I had to rank it like a 6 2. It'll work though. What do you think? Hmm. Tastes uh, organic y. Organic. Got some good flavor. Yeah, earthy. I feel like I'm one with these pineapples. It is go time. Look at that presentation. One with hot sauce, one without. I'm going to go without right now just so I can get all those natural flavors. Here we go. Mm. Top notch. I got creme all over my face. It's okay. Won't be the last time. Mango snapper. <laughs> <laughs> in my humble opinion, one of the best tasting fish out there. And it is on display tonight in these tacos. So, so well done. Black into perfection. Good job, Jake. Nothing better than a fish taco on Taco Tuesday. 
I'm gonna give it a solid 8.3. That's pretty high. Man. Don't get no more better than that. For a fish taco, you ain't getting this quality at a restaurant. I'm going eight seven. Wow. And that's that's low. Could go much higher. It was delicious. <laughs> I need to go catch more mangroves. Thank you for breathing in the whole video. We appreciate your time here. Wash it down. Plot twist, mac and cheese. Buffalo mac and cheese mangrove snapper Buffalo tacos. Buffalo mac and cheese. Y'all ready for this? Nah, 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 you are not nah, ready for nah, this. Nah, nah. All right, load me up. All right, boss, here you go. Get them wet. Whoa, oh, it's wet. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, that's a game changer right there. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Ain't nobody had no buffalo mac and cheese mangrove snapper tacos, I'll bet you that. That's how we do it. Whoa. Whoa. Did we just make up a new menu item? I like that better, but this is still in the <laughs> AIDS. Holy freak. <laughs>